For all your t-shirt needs, check out TeePublic's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Pizzow here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Umbrella Entertainment 2 Disc Collector's Edition 30th Anniversary Blu ray release for 1985's Reanimator. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this Blu ray. However, I will keep the review of the film somewhat brief because there's a lot to dig into on this Blu ray release. And I'm not going to bore you guys with a plot synopsis or really go into any kind of detail about Reanimator because it's it's Reanimator. If you've not actually seen Reanimator, I'm sure you know the reputation of Reanimator. Um, Reanimator is like a punk rock, over the top horror sci fi comedy that almost despite itself works on each <laughs> one of those levels. It's a great horror film in that it has buckets of blood, gallons of gore. It's so over the top in its gore. Um, you've got eyeballs exploding. You've got decapitated heads being carried by their headless bodies and the heads being put into uh, a woman's uh very private area. Um, you've got intestines choking people out. You've got zombies everywhere spewing blood and foam and nastiness. Uh, this movie just has everything that a, a, a red blooded horror loving person could possibly want. Um, it's definitely got its sci-fi uh, elements in there as well. It's even got some body horror elements thrown in there uh, also. And it's all uh, presented in a very satirical, tongue-in-cheek kind of way that is actually pretty darn funny. I would actually compare Reanimator to like Peter Jackson's Dead Alive, or as it's known across the pond, uh, Brain Dead. It's super gory, but it's presented in a very tongue-in-cheek, satirical kind of way that just works. Um, on top of that, this film has a phenomenal cast in it. Jeffrey Combs, Barbara, Barbara Crampton, David Gale. Um, what is the lead actor's name? I don't want to leave him out. Uh, Bruce Abbott, um, who gives a, a phenomenal performance. And he's actually, I actually look at him in this film because he's kind of the... He's kind of the the straight man in this film that's just full of kooky, crazy, out there characters, and yet he's he's carrying the movie. That's no small feat. Um, it's directed by Stuart Gordon. It's very well made. It's a great looking movie. The pacing is spot on. It's 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 intelligently written. There's great dialogue, um, and it's reanimator it's a classic and it's very deserving of its status as a classic if you've not seen the film by all means you should see reanimator if you are a fan of reanimator you probably want to look into picking up this blu-ray release from umbrella entertainment it is actually volume one in their new worlds on film beyond genres series um dig that slipcase artwork there very very cool artwork for the film or for this release um, now this release is region be locked now with a lot of umbrella entertainment releases it will say on the back that it is region be locked however it is they're not region be locked in the case of this disc, it says on the back that it's region B locked and it is region B locked. So you will need a region B or a region free Blu-ray player to play this. Um, but very nice artwork there for the slipcase inside. You have that artwork uh, on the inside. On the back of it there, you have Dr. West as played by Jeffrey Combs. Inside here, you've got, just pop that out, you've got the original uh, reanimator, uh, or some old school reanimator artwork right there that you can flip the sleeve around. Um, you get two discs on this release. 
Uh, you have uh, on disc one, you have the unrated cut of the movie. And on disc two, you have the integral uh, cut of the film. As far as the picture quality and sound quality are concerned, um, this Blu-ray is actually sourced from a 4K transfer of the film that a German company produced. Um, I'm not sure exactly when, but it is sourced from a 4K transfer of the film. Uh, the picture quality overall was pretty good. I would give it probably uh, about a four out of five. Sound quality was also quite good. I would also give it about a four out of five uh, as far as extras are concerned on disc one we have the reanimator resurrectus documentary it's one hour five minutes and 49 seconds in length this is a vintage documentary i believe it was on the uh, elite dvd release of reanimator it features interviews with Stuart gordon carolyn purdy gordon dennis paoli brian usna john nolan barbara crampton bruce abbott jeffrey combs robert sampson uh, john beekler uh, and mac alberg uh, the gordons discuss their history as theater directors before deciding to make movies and finding the works of hp hp lovecraft in the local library including his serial reanimator uh, paoli gordon and yuzna discuss the development of the screenplay nolan and dublin discuss the effects in the film uh, like david gale's headless body carrying around his decapitated head uh, and others uh, crampton abbott and combs crampton abbott combs and samson discuss getting cast in the film the rehearsal process their characters and being taken to a real morgue as a sort of character building exercise. Uh, Beekler discusses the gory makeup effects in the film and how they were achieved. Uh, Yuzna and Gordon discuss the editing process and reshoots, which included the opening scene with the doctor's eyes popping out and exploding. Uh, they discuss how successful the film did at the Cannes Film Festival and deciding not to submit the film for a rating. Uh, they discuss the film's success with both audiences and critics. They discuss the film's cult status and how the movie holds up today. Very nice, very informative uh, making of documentary. Uh, over an hour of everything that you could possibly want to know about the making of Reanimator. Uh, we also get 19 minutes and 55 seconds of extended scenes, 2 minutes and 42 seconds of deleted scenes. We get two, aud er, two audio commentaries, one with director Stuart Gordon and one with Brian Usna, Jeffrey Combs, Barbara Crampton, Bruce Abbott, and Robert Sampson. Um, both of these commentaries are sourced from, I believe that, uh, elite DVD release from 2007, 2008, somewhere in that time frame. On disc two, we have an interview with Stuart Gordon and Brian Usna. It's 46 minutes and 48 seconds in length. Uh, Usna discusses meeting Stuart Gordon in Chicago and deciding to help finance Reanimator based on Gordon's work as a theater director and their shared love of horror. Uh, Gordon discusses watching movies like Rosemary's Baby and Driller Killer and a lot of other recent popular horror movies and wanting to outdo them all with Reanimator. Uh, they discuss the editing process and Gordon's first cut of the film being two and a half hours in length. Usna discusses how Charles Band and Empire Pictures came aboard the production and ended up distributing the film. They discuss casting Jeffrey Combs. They discuss how Je David Gale's wife left him during the first cast screening during the scene where his head is put uh, in Barbara Crampton's a very personal area uh, of Barbara Crampton. Uh, she actually left the screening and divorced him shortly thereafter. That should be, that should have been on like the poster of reanimator. This movie is so shocking. One of the actor's wives actually divorced him. Yuzna discusses the film winning the Critics' Prize at the Cannes Film Festival and much, much more. Very nice interview with Mr. Gordon and with Mr. Yuzna. Um, I believe this interview, as well as all the other interviews on disc two, were also on a prior uh, Elite DVD release. 
Uh, actually, I know that they were all on a prior Elite DVD release. Uh, next up, we have an interview with Dennis Paoli. It's 10 minutes and 15 seconds in length. Uh, he discusses working with Stuart Gordon and Bill Norris to develop the script for Reanimator. He discusses how Gordon initially wanted to make Reanimator as a TV miniseries. He discusses taking all the ideas from the miniseries and putting them all together and turning all those ideas into the script that became Reanimator. Nice brief interview with Mr. Paoli. Uh, next up, we have an interview with Richard Band. It's 14 minutes and seven seconds in length. He discusses wanting to score the film in a campy way based on how over the top the film was. He discusses wanting to take the psycho motif, but to make it sound quirky. He wanted people to hear the psycho theme, but twisted and updated in a way so has to let the audience know that they were in for something very twisted. Uh, he discusses working with Stuart Gordon, who he bonded with over their shared love of Frank Zappa. Nice interview with Mr. Band. Next up, we have an interview with Tony Timpone. It is four minutes and 23 seconds in length. Mr. Timpone discusses first seeing Reanimator and Fangoria embracing the film back in the day. He discusses Fangoria hosting a contest in which they gave away Dennis Gale's character's decapitated head from the film. A nice but brief interview with Mr. Timpone. Um, next up, we have a music analysis by composer Richard Band. It's 15 minutes and 48 seconds in length. Uh, Mr. Band discusses several different pieces of music he composed for Reanimator and their significance to the scenes the music is featured in. Uh, we also get TV spots and a theatrical trailer. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Reanimator from the folks over at Umbrella Entertainment. All of the extras are ported over from prior releases, but it's nice to have them all together on this release. We have two different versions of the film, the unrated cut and the longer integral cut. The picture quality and the sound quality are both very good. Again, this is a Region B locked release. So keep that in mind. You will need a Region B Blu-ray player or a Region Free Blu-ray player in order to play this release. If you've not seen Reanimator, you definitely should see Reanimator. This Blu-ray would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you are a fan of Reanimator, you want to look into picking up this Blu-ray and adding it to your collection. I will put a link to Umbrella Entertainment's website in the description. Go over and check them out. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Craig Farrand, Robert Sobel, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Terry Delamore, Joseph Charlesworth, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Jana, PB Sam 6, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, and James Welch. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.